Do you think your drone data is accurate down to the centimeter? It might actually be off by way more than that and you wouldn't know until it's too late. As a geospatial professional for over 20 years, I've seen personally how unreliable RTK corrections can quietly wreck serving accuracy. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why this happens and give you an easy, safe method to fix it permanently. So what's going on? Why does this happen even when everything looks correct? Well, here's the real issue. Most drone pilots rely solely on RTK corrections from course network and that's just not enough. Now, don't get me wrong, RTK is incredible when it works, but if you are depending entirely on a course network, you are putting all your trust in a signal you have zero control over. Think of course like the autocorrect on your phone. Most of the time it picks the right word, but every now and then it slips in a mistake you don't notice until it's too late. Now, imagine that happening to your survey data. You think your coordinates are perfect, but course quietly introduce tiny shifts, just like autocorrect changing a word without realizing. And just like a typo can completely change the meaning of a sentence, these small shifts can throw off your entire data set. And here's the worst part, you won't even see these errors happening in real time. Everything looks fine until you overlay your data and realize something is off. That's the problem with relying on a course network. You have no control over how those corrections are being generated. A weak internet connection, greater distance from the base station, or even minor network delays can lead to small shifts in your position. To solve distance errors, course providers use virtual reference stations or VRS. Instead of relying on a single base station, VRS combines data from multiple reference stations and creates a virtual base near your drone. Sounds like a perfect fix, right? Well, no exactly. While VRS helps reducing distance-based errors, it still relies on a stable internet connection. And when that connection drops or slows down, your corrections can get interrupted. But that's not all. VRS introduces two major risks. The first one is position drift. Because VRS estimates correction values, your positioning may gradually shift over time. These changes are small, but they add up. And by the time you process the data, you may not even be able to pinpoint when it happened. The second one is inconsistent reconnections. If you lose connection and reconnect, the VRS might calculate a slightly different correction set, causing small shifts in your positioning. And here's the issue. These errors are invisible while you're flying. You don't catch them until later when your data doesn't align with reality. At this point, you're probably thinking, if course and VRS both have issues, what's the best solution? The answer is generating your own RTK corrections right on site. Instead of relying on a course network miles away, a dedicated RTK base station gives you direct, real-time corrections without relying on external signals. Here are three big reasons why this is a game changer. First one is no more accuracy loss over long distances. Your correction comes from your own base station right where you need them. No more relying on a signal from miles away that gets weaker the further you go. The second one is no surprises shifts in your data. You get a steady, rock solid RTK fix without worrying about internet delays or random position jumps. What you measure is what you get all the time. The third one is you're in control. Your accuracy isn't at the mercy of a course network that could lag, drop out, or completely go offline. With your own base, you call the shots. The GNSS base that I normally use is the Emily Reach RS3 because probably is the most reliable and cost-effective solution for drone mapping. A dedicated RTK base station gives you control and confidence in real time. But what happens 
if RTK fails, connection dropouts, signal interference, or unexpected errors can still occur. Well, this is where PPK post-processing kinematic saves the day. With PPK processing on the Emily Rich RS3, you can log the raw GNSS data through the survey, reprocess the data later to recover full accuracy, even if RTK failed. Avoid wasting time on repeat flights or fixing bad data. This is especially powerful for drone mapping because RTK drop Dropouts happens all the time. Instead of scrapping your mission, you process the raw data afterwards and still achieve centimeter level accuracy. And the best part, PPK processing using Emily Studio is free and completely simple to use. I will leave a link in the description if you want to see a full tutorial. But drones are not the only tool in a surveyor's workflow. To get consistent accuracy, all your GNSS equipment needs to work together. If you're working on a big survey, chances are you're not flying just a drone. You got multiple survey equipment working together, like a drone in the air mapping the terrain, a GNSS rover on the ground collecting control points, a second rover doing stakeouts or verification checks. Now, here's the problem. If you are using cores for RTK, each device needs its own connection, and that means multiple data plans, which translates to extra cost. One license starts from £1,000 per year. Another problem is inconsistent positioning between devices, which means more potential errors. But with a dedicated base station like the Emily Reach RS3, you can run multiple rovers and drones off a single correction source. One base, multiple rovers, zero cost, ensures all your devices work from the same correction data, eliminating inconsistencies and errors. The Emily Reach RS3 can send corrections to any type of GNSS receiver through the internet using Emily Caster directly via Wi-Fi or through the radio module. If you are serious about getting the most accurate, reliable, and repeatable results in draw mapping, Getting a dedicated base station is a no-brainer. Stop relying on corrections you can't control. Take accuracy in your own hands. But even with the best setup, your accuracy can still fall apart if you are making these five critical mistakes. And trust me, I see surveyors making them all the time. Click here and watch this video and make sure your drone surveys are accurate every time.